Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and um, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at RealFlow for Cinema 4D. Um, uh, so this is a continuation of uh, the tutorials that I did previously. Um, if you haven't had a look at those, go back and uh, have a look at them where I cover the different emitter types, and I also cover the um, attraction demon in the second tutorial. So this one's going to be quite quick. Um, we're going to be looking at the gravity demon in this uh, tutorial. So let's just get started. As before, I'm going to go to the reef, real flow menu, go to emitters and just choose a circle emitter. This will create the scene tree with the emitter in it and the demons. I'm just going to go to the scene object like I did in previous tutorials. Go to the solver and enable my GPU. Uh, I've got a GeForce GTX 970 and it's a CUDA. GPU because it's NVIDIA so I'm going to be using that. I'm also going to go to the fluid and uh, change the display so the particles are more visible for you guys and I'm also going to put some more time on the clock say 10 seconds. Uh, probably don't even need that actually let's make that five. <clears throat> okay so I'm going to grab the emitter and just raise it up so we can see more particles for longer and hit play. So there we go, we've got particles being generated, and there we go, that's our scene set up. So <clears throat> let's uh, add the gravity demon. So we go to real flow demons and choose the gravity one. And already you can see the velocity of the particles have sped up. So let's actually have a look at the demon itself. So as always, you get a basic tab, coordinates, object, and demon gravity so let's have a look first of all we've got the link fluids um, because I created a mirror it already creates uh, upon doing that it creates this fluid object here which you'll need and that automatically gets added to this uh, fluid field so that's fine um, next we have the effect um, so we've got two options for this it's currently set to force um, so force accelerates the particles and they become faster and faster as long as the force is acting on them um, and then the second object is velocity. I think I've covered this in other in the attraction demon actually, but um, velocity only works with particles uh, and it adds the demon's strength value to the particle's speed. So let's change it to velocity and we should see it go absolutely bonkers. Yeah, there we go. So if I make the particle speed, if I go to the emitter and make the particle speed say one, Okay, it's just going to do that, isn't it? Um, yeah, so so it's the strength value um, added to the particle speed of this emitter. Um, let's try 50. Yeah, so it's kind of a mixture between the, the, the initial speed of the particle and the, um, the demon strength value. Um, and that results in a peak, peak velocity and it remains constant during the entire simulation. Um, I prefer to use force because I think it's more natural. Um, so that covers those two things. Next we come on to the strength. And by default, um, I mean, strength is self-explanatory. This, uh, this is the strength of the demon. And initially, you'll get this value of 981 centimeters, which seems kind of strange. Um, but it's actually, it actually relates to standard gravity on Earth. So uh, that can be described as meters per second squared. And um, that is this value here. So for Earth, it will be 9. 0.81 centimeters uh, sorry 9.81 meters per second squared um, so that's the rate of acceleration on earth and actually if you click this little help pardon me help button here it brings up the help uh, and it gives you actually different values for um, for different bodies so as you can see here earth is 9.81 meters per second squared and then it will give you the values for the sun 
Mercury, Venus, the Moon, you know, all the other celestial bodies. And um, you can see that they've got varying uh, rates of acceleration for its gravity. If you look at the Sun, it's 274, which is much, much more than 9.81 for Earth. And that's because the more mass an object has, the more gravitational pull. So that that is why you get this value as a default, because it's the default value of gravity on Earth. Okay, next we have this bounded um, option here. Um, uh, so you can choose from three options to restrict the demon's scope. So no means that it's not bounded. It doesn't matter where this gravity item is. It's a global force. It'll act globally. The whole, uh, it'll, you know, it's a global value. It will act anywhere within the scene. And the next option, we've got box. So as you can see, we've actually got handles here to um, adjust the box's size. So if I put the, so anything outside the, uh, this box will not be affected by it, but anything within it will be. So there you go. We can see that the particles that are inside the box are affected and the ones that aren't inside it aren't affected, but you'll see some on the edge, they're getting sort of accelerated and dragged along with the particles on the edge. So that's nice. Um, you'll also notice that when they leave the box, they're still, well, they're not being accelerated, but they're at, the const, they're at a constant speed. So they're at the speed, whatever the speed is um, they're going when they leave the box, that's what they will carry on doing. And uh, the reason for that is because uh, there's no other forces in the scene, such as air resistance or anything like that. Um, so that's why you'll see that. But... You can see how that would be handy because you can animate. Uh, you could animate that box going through a fluid to, you know, mix it up a little bit or do what you want. Anyway, the next one is the plane. It enables a plane in the viewport. The option restricts the effects to particles at one side of that plane. So, as you can see, anything below this plane is accelerated, and anything above. And it doesn't necessarily have to be intersecting with it, like the box, because it's not a 3D effect. It's literally a vertical up and down jobby. So, um, yeah, you can see that by me moving the plane up and down, you can see what effect it's having. So that's pretty much the gravity thing. Um, well, we've also got this inverse checkbox burn. I should imagine you you know exactly what that that does if I click it on. Is inversed so anything above the plane now is subject to the gravity and anything underneath it isn't so if I bring this up so it's just an inverse of this basically um, and the same for the box as well anything outside the box is subject to uh, the gravitational force but anything within it is not so it's almost like a negative effect really so there we go if I have the box intersecting with it now anything within it is not subject to this gravitational force um, but everything outside of it is so that could be a good way of having a global gravity but um, maybe slowing down uh, some particles uh, some select particles so that's all the inverse does really um, I'm going to change this back to it's not bounded and um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh the strength so Obviously, that's gravity working downwards, but you can also affect this strength value. So you can have gravity, you know, way more than it than it is normally. You can also have it a lot less. So say like the moon, apparently the value for that is 3.37. So a lot less gravity. Um, Oh, sorry, that's Mars. The moon is actually much lower than that. It's 1.62 for the moon. But not only can you um, mess with the strength in positive values, you can mess with it in negative values as well. So we could actually go minus 100. And as you can see, it starts to slow down and then it goes back up. So let's just get a few more seconds on the clock. Let's make that 10. 
to double the time. So there we go, we can see the particles slowing and then you can see their acceleration increasing but in the opposite direction. So you can actually put minus figures in. So it's almost like a repulsion if it was like a planet. And um, we can even make this more extreme. So what's Earth? Earth is 9.8, uh, 981. So let's go the other way. So now it's Earth's gravity, but in the opposite direction. And again, we can slow this down so it looks a little bit nicer. So there we go. So, uh, you know, you can. Uh, there's quite a lot of effects that you could make from this, maybe. So here we go, back at the beginning, falls down because of the strength of the emitter. And then up you go. So that's the gravity demon um, covered, really. No, there's not too much to it, um, but it could be very useful. Um, as always, check out digitalmeet.uk to vote on uh, upcoming tutorials. Um, again, help me keep the site going by uh, lobbing a couple of quid or dollars in the donation box. You can find that on the donation page. And um, I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>